Today, I am going to be sharing what the energy is going to be like for the month of June. What should you expect? What is coming up? What are some themes you should look out for? And what is important for you to know? Something that is also very, very important that's coming up is the 6-6 manifestation portal, which I will also be getting into. So stay tuned for that. It is a huge energetic gateway, a portal to where it could really help us quantum leap onto our most optimal timeline. So for this month of June, I've really been tapping into this energy. I've been asking the angels, what is best for you to know at this time? What is coming up for you for this new month? And I pulled this beautiful card actually from my Rose Oracle deck. It is called the reunion. This message, and I was also feeling this as before I even pulled the card, I was like, I'm really feeling this message around family, around soul family in particular, around connection and around home, your environment. So the message that I'm really getting from the angels at this time is that connection is going to be very, very much the main focus of this month. This is going to heighten your ability to understand what relationships are in alignment and what relationships are out of alignment. So anything that is not in harmony is going to be felt. Anything that is in harmony is going to allow you to thrive even more. Your soul family is a big focus for this month. Your soul family are people, are souls that you agreed to reincarnate here in this lifetime to meet, to help you evolve and grow on your spiritual journey, on your soul's evolution. So when you meet these people, you're going to feel like, wow, I feel like I've known you forever. It's go- You're going to recognize them, whether it be through their eyes, their voice, their energy, whatever it may be, you're going to feel like home when you're with them. This is because your soul has journeyed many lifetimes with them before. So it's going to feel really, really good to reunite with these people in your life. But a big thing to actually connect with your soul family is to let go of connections of people that no longer feel resonant for your soul, that are no longer in alignment. And I know that it can be hard at times when you have had a history with certain people in your life and you're like, okay, I don't know how to go about this, but just know that as you just speak from your heart and let go of what no longer serves you, let go of what doesn't feel good for you anymore or does or no longer feels in alignment, you are creating room for your soul family to come your way. These are the relationships that are going to nourish your soul, that are going to feel expansive, that are going to feel like you've been sent to the heavens because they are truly here for you and you are truly here for them. You are both helping one another in each other's journeys by just being in that frequency, but also having that love that has come from so many lifetimes before. Another message that's coming through is in relation to your family at home. So for this month in particular, it is very important to resolve any disputes with family members, whether they be from months ago or years ago, or if you're holding on to resentment in any way, any energy that just doesn't feel good from some disagreement, whatever it may be with your family members, it's time to let go and to find peace. Because in doing so, when you get to a harmonious state and understand also that truly underneath it all, there is that unconditional love there, you are making room, you are freeing your energetic space in doing so. You are also freeing your family members' energetic space as well. And As we get to a more harmonious space, that is the best place to manifest from. When we're still, when we still have unresolved feelings inside, that is not the best place to manifest from. So again, it's a reminder from your angels that anything that may be causing an imbalance in your internal state, take care of that. Do your best to find balance in however, whatever way that may look like for you so that you can bring to life and bring to fruition what you have been calling in from a loving place. The word balance has been coming up a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot for this month as well. So ask yourself, how can you come back to balance in your life? Is there anything that is out of balance in your life at this time? 
Have you been too focused on the material world? And if so, what can you do? What can you shift to get back to a place where you are being of service? You are contributing to humanity in some way where your thoughts of, are of kindness are coming from compassion and of love. If there's any fears that are coming up at this time, any thoughts that don't feel good, that don't serve you, know that you can always release them to your angels to transmute into love and light. So if you feel like you're continuously shifting back to this, this fear mindset, call upon your angels to help you release these fears and know that you can give this energy that doesn't serve you away to them. They'll take care of it. And then you can also ask them to bring in thoughts that do serve you to support you on your journey that's for your highest good. Divine assistance is always there to help us. It's just a matter of calling it in and welcoming it in. Okay, now moving on to the big, big, big manifestation portal that is happening on June 6, 2024. The reason why this manifestation portal is one of the biggest energetic gateways of the year is because of its numerology placement. So it's 6-6 six, six, and 2024 denotes to the number 6. Anytime a number's number appears more than once, the energies are amplified. And that means that the our ability to manifest with this energy that's coming through is triple. This time, it really, really is tripled. The energy of six, again, is in relation to home and family. But in particular, this manifestation portal, it just allows the veil to be very, very thin between us and the spiritual realm, where our angels are able to give us even more support even more guidance than they usually are. There are specific times in the year when the veil is especially thin between us and the spiritual realm. And this is one of those times. So use this to your advantage. Ensure that whatever intentions you're setting are coming from a good place, coming from your heart center, and share these intentions with your angels, with the universe. What is it that you want to bring to fruition and why? And as you share this, with your angels, release your attachment to the outcome, and then look out for signs and synchronicities that will guide you to bringing these manifestations to fruition. Your ability to receive divine guidance is even more amplified at this time. So take some time to also practice mindfulness, come back to the present moment, because that is where your angels will be able to communicate to you. All the answers come in the present moment. This energetic portal has already opened and will last until the end of this month. So make the most of this time. This is your time to shine and to also quantum leap onto your highest timeline. And that wraps up my energetic update for the month of June. I hope that this helps each and every one of you. If you have any questions whatsoever, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Any thoughts about the manifestation portal, please feel free to leave them in the comments as well. And I'm sending you all so much love and so much light. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye everyone.